MATLAB programmers, we have been talking about functions since day one. Day one, we talked about a function called display or DISP, and we would use that and pass one input into the function, and like the word hello, and it would print hello. We've also seen there's a plot function where you could pass in, I'm going to pass in x values between 0 and pi and y values. Actually, let me put that in a variable. Let's say I've got my x values, all these x values. That's not a lot of x values. Let me do more x values. And based on those x values, I'll create my y values. And I can use a plot function and pass an x and y, and then I'll get this lovely plot. Um, so we've been using functions a lot lately, and we've made our own functions. Today we're going to talk about a special kind of function called function functions. And the name sounds funny, um, but let me explain what they are. So first I'm going to bring up another plot. This time I'm going to plot uh, the cosine function. And I'm just going from 0 to pi, so you're not going to see quite a lot there. But what if I ask you a question, and the question is, at what point does the sine curve cross the, cross the x-axis? So at what point is this exactly going to be equal to 0? Why is it exactly equal to 0? Well, you can probably make an educated guess by looking at the graph, but I wanted to show an example of a function function to exactly find the spot where this function is zero. And I made a single line program to do it up here. There is a function called f0 that will take as an input argument the name of a function and then it'll figure out where that function is zero. And I said I want to check between zero and pi and figure out where this function is zero. And I run it and I find out that it's actually pi over two is the point in time where the function is going to be zero, where the cosine of this value is going to be zero. And you're, there's a little bit of a round off error here because we've got something extremely close to zero. Um, so f0 is an example of a function function. Uh, function functions are made possible by MATLAB functions eval and f eval. <clears throat> eval is a MATLAB function. So we're going to pass something in parentheses. And I'm going to pass in factorial and in parentheses 3. So what I'm passing into the function is the name of another function and also the arguments to that function. What do I want to pass into factorial? And then I hit enter and it runs factorial of 3 and prints out that answer. And you might think, why in the world are you putting another function around this? And I'll explain why to do that later. But uh, it's giving us enough power to use an input to the function to actually run that function. So I could do something like, what is the cosine of pi? And it'll evaluate that for me. OK, another special function, along with eval, is f eval. That one takes an input that is the name of the function, something like a cosine or a sine or factorial, and it also takes the arguments that you want to pass into that other function name. So I could say, what's the cosine of pi? And it'll evaluate that. Or I could say, what is the factorial function when you pass in the number 4 to it? Well, it's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So F -L, eval and eval are both functions where one of the arguments to the function is the name of another function. Okay, a little bit confusing. Um, a more fun topic is tick and talk. Tick will start a stopwatch, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, and then you can stop the stopwatch, and it looks like my counting was a little fast, and I can stop it again, and the stopwatch is still running, and I could save into a variable the time that has passed, like the time elapsed and say, well, here's what it is. If I want to restart the stopwatch, I'll just do tick again. And then if I want to see, well, how much time has elapsed since I started the stopwatch again, 4.8 seconds. So that's a pretty fun command.